Welcome, White Lightning Agents, to episode 6 of Counterintelligence. I'm Kyle. We got Ethan JP here. This is the counter, we're the intelligence. <sighs> or so they say. Yeah, sure. Um, so the show has had some changes made to it. Um, you might remember that last time Agent Khan was here and there were some disagreements and he was a big baby about it. So um, he's decided that apparently we're not good enough spies, which is ridiculous because we are, we are good spies. Me and Ethan hold down the fort here. JP went on a successful mission recently, so it was successful, right? No. Uh, my, I was compromised because uh, they found out somehow where I was. We'll just do you stuff with JP. You know what? You know what? When he gets back to his super secret spy mission in Mexico. So yeah, uh, Ian has sent us some like papers, a Manila envelope, and stuff, and some video intros. So. We're going to watch those now, because apparently he complained to us, to someone at HQ, which I'm starting to get suspicious is just him, because I haven't ever heard from anybody else. Good morning, White Lightning agents. Based on the results of your recent performance review, conducted by one, uh, Agent Khan, I'm afraid that your team no longer meets the minimum requirements for your current job spec of field reporting. Instead, Agent Khan recommends that your team be reclassified under the categories of... Needs improvement, additional training required, and oh god, oh god, who ever let these people become spies in the first place? I know, right? I thought it was a little extreme myself, but hey, classifications are classifications, so <laughs> what are you going to do, right? So instead of your usual report this week, I've been authorized to conduct a number of diagnostic field conditioning exercises designed to just smooth over any rough spots that your training may have missed. And you know, I think y'all are just gonna love them. I know I will. That, that was just like intentionally sinister. For your first diagnostic field conditioning exercise, I've prepared something to help you practice clear, effective communication with your team, even while under pressure. We call it Time Bomb. I provided each one of you with a short list of words or phrases that it might be helpful to keep in mind for today's topic. Furthermore, I've supplied one probably decommissioned and almost certainly non-functioning timed explosive. After memorizing your list, and that includes the order, okay, because there ain't going to be any skipping around or taking a pass on your words, all right? After memorizing your list, we'll put on a 30-second timer. Whoever is in possession of that explosive must try and describe the first word or phrase in their list without ever explicitly saying it. If you do anyway, the bomb goes off immediately and... And that's no good. Your fellow agents must attempt to guess what it is you're describing. See? When somebody gets it, they get a point, and the bomb gets immediately passed on to the left, where the whole thing continues. Whoever's left holding the bomb at the end of that 30 seconds, though, gets blown up and is out. You'll get another 30 seconds and start the same thing again, just with only the two of you left. And at the end of that 30 seconds, somebody else gets out. And whoever ends up being the last agent standing gets a bonus point. Okay, so we misplaced the bomb that Agent Khan sent us in the it's mail file. somewhere, but we don't know where it is. So we're gonna toss this gun instead. Go. All right. So this word is the main means they use to dis discover these gravitational waves. Okay. Yeah. Oh, to the left. To the left, I'm sorry. Right. Oh, um, um, it's, it's the thing that they just, the wave is of this. Gravitational. Gravity. Yes. It is the thing that powers everything. It Energy. is... Energy. Uh, the guy who proposed the theory of relativity. Einstein. Um, uh, it's, it's like a big, it's, no, it's, it's the dark, okay. <laughs> uh, you blew up. I'm ready. Go. Okay, it is, uh, it, it's the universal constant. It, Time? No. Nothing can be faster than this. Light. Speed of light. Yeah. Okay, this is a, uh... It's... It's where you mix two things. Okay, have you seen Lost? No. Oh my god. Is it a compound? No, it's not. It's, um... Um... I can't! No! 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 
<laughs> Electromagnetism. I don't oh. know how to describe electromagnetism. <laughs> so, my last one was the fabric of space time. <laughs> I was gonna go, I was gonna go, clothing's made out of it! It's <laughs> above the sky! Alright, another common professional skill in store for you here in your next field conditioning exercise basic data analysis. When you're out on a job, you gotta know the sweet, honeyed sound of truth when you hear it, you know? So let's do fact or fiction. Real easy, this one. You all take a look at a statement I've prepared, talk about it a bit if you like, and then each individually decide if you think it's true or false. You get it right, you get a point. You don't, you don't. Repeat a few times, done. Bam. Fact or fiction. First question, not question, first thing. Gravitational waves are ripples in the fabric of space-time that stretch and squeeze anything they pass through. I'd go with true. It sounds like science, I think. Right? I don't know. I always hate these questions. This is like one of those things, like the true and false, is like, is one of these words wrong or something? Mm -hmm. Like, does, does, I don't, does it stretch and squeeze, or does it only do one of them? I would, I would say yes, true. True? I'm also I'm also gonna go true. Let's just go all in on this one. All right. True! Yay! Yay! Everything is constantly <laughs> awash in gravitational waves, but the physical <laughs> distortion they cause is so small as to be nearly impossible to detect. That's a pun. What? Oh, it is. Dang it. Freaking Agent Con. <laughs> you can slip a lot of things past me, but you can't slip past a pun. <laughs> you gotta get up pretty well, early in the morning. The pun? A wash. A wash in gravitational waves. waves. Oh my god. <laughs> Anything with any mass at all gives off gravitational waves when it undergoes a change in acceleration. What do you think? What do I think? Yeah, about the thing. We're answering questions. I know, no, I'm, Is this I'm true or false. But it doesn't it, this seems like one of those things where it's it, like you were saying for the first question, like one of the words seems off. I don't know. I would like one. to say true again. It seems it seems right. It what seems like anything with acceler mass acceleration seems like the right word as well. I'm gonna say false. It does seem like anything with mass would give off gravitational waves, right? Because if it has mass, it, it, mm -hmm. does, it does the gravity or something. I'm gonna so maybe it doesn't necessarily have to undergo a change in acceleration. I'm going to say That's false. That's true. I'm going to go with false also. I think the acceleration is irrelevant. Um, what do you I think? think? I'll, I'll stick with true. Okay. You got two, two falses and a true. Let's see. It's true. God dang oh. it! JP's ahead! <laughs> you want to read off the explanation? Yes. Although we can only detect them when caused by extremely powerful events, such as the collision and merger of two black holes, even just wiggling your fingers causes very, very tiny gravitational waves. See, I, I thought there had to be Gravitational waves! I thought there had to be a mass. The camera just, like, falls. <laughs> <laughs> I thought there had to be a mass limit. I was, I was thinking too small. I just thought that it, it must... I didn't think there would be a mass limit, but I, I thought that... It would do grav. It would like give off gravitational waves regardless of whether or not it was moving. Because they operate under a different fundamental force of physics that than light, that is gravitational instead of electromagnetism. Gravitational waves are not bound by the same speed limit and theoretically travel faster than the speed of light. False. False. We may have had a brief discussion about that exact point right before. It. <laughs> Did we? I, I, that sounds like exactly what you, you guys were told drinking. me. You were drinking. No, it says it says it can it can theoretically travel faster than light. It's false. Mm -hmm. That's false. It can't travel faster than light. That's the whole point. Because things oh. can't travel faster than light, including right. gravity, which is why the whole the theory of gravitational False. waves appeared in the first place. False. That's what Einstein said. Not exactly that, I'm paraphrasing. Einstein Supremo. False. Hey. We win. Ish. JP still ahead. Gravitational waves explicitly contradict the model proposed by Albert Einstein's theory of general relativity, finally explaining certain elements of classical physics that Einstein couldn't. False. 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 Einstein actually explicitly predicted the gravitational waves must exist as part of his model of physics, even though he had no way to detect them. Every discovery in classical physics in the past century, gravitational waves included, has reinforced and supported the accuracy of his general relativity. We were finally able to detect gravitational waves by noticing when it took a laser a little longer than usual to shine down a really long hallway. I believe that is true based on some very limited Reddit reading I've done. I would not necessarily take that into account, but I'm gonna I'm I'm going with true on that one. How does that prove gravitational waves? I'm not going to tell you. 
Oh, you you're just mad because I'm Because I'm going to try to catch up. I want you to give a different answer so that at least I have a chance of catching up to you. I get all my information <laughs> from Reddit, Kyle. I trust Reddit. <laughs> what are you false? All right. Two trues and a false? Mm. True! Ha! Mm. Thank you, Kyle. The laser intero- interfer for I, I'm supposed your... to read this. The interferometer! <laughs> the laser interfer... Interferometer. <laughs> you can't do it either. <laughs> Interferometer. <laughs> Gravitational Wave Obser- Observatory, LIGO for short, is a set of two and a half Wait, mile... Wait, take the glasses off to read the thing on the screen. It's a set of two and a half mile long vacuum tunnels that analyzes and compares minuscule variations in the behavior of several carefully calibrated lasers. A sufficiently powerful gravitational wave stretches and squeezes like... Squeezes the physical space that the lasers shine through, causing incredibly small changes in the amount of time it takes for the lasers to travel down it. From Incuman, got to work on that penmanship there, not Hugh. What are the what are the agents to do when the instructions in the suitcase bomb end up going for five seconds instead of five minutes, or they confuse the safety switch with the taffy switch? On their flamethrower slash candy pens. Why isn't this a skit? Yeah, see, you're not so perfect, Ian. <laughs> Stupid note cards. We have flamethrowers slash taffy pens? I don't know. I haven't gotten any of those. We should put an order in. I, Your drink is gone. Can I just have a taffy pen? Yeah, no, I'd like a taffy pen. This is a taffy pen. It's a pen that produces taffy. All right, well, anyway, uh, if you would like... Um, to leave comments and questions or something, I can say this better. If you should leave questions, why don't you do this? If you, if you'd like to leave a comment for us to read, uh, leave one in one of our videos and we may or may not read it in our next comment response. Leave questions. No, leave suggestions. We're not proving that we're decent at our jobs. If you would like to see a topic covered on our show, leave a suggestion in the comments. Or if you'd like to ask a question, do the same thing. And maybe we'll get to it. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> no promises. Uh, we will see you all in a couple weeks with another episode of Counterintelligence. Have a good time and all. This video will now self-destruct. <laughs> <laughs>